Tell me, what are all these dishes for? These dishes pick up radio signals from very distant extragalactic objects, objects outside our own galaxy. Many modern observatories study distant galaxies by picking up their radio signals. But Hubble didn't have a radio telescope. It was by studying the light from galaxies that he made his next great discovery. Astronomer Mike Hobson explained that the wavelength of the light Hubble saw appeared to have been stretched. Its frequency was shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. This could happen only if the galaxies were travelling away from us. Every galaxy he looked at had what's called a red shift, a shift to the red, which meant that it was moving away from us. And more importantly, he found that the speed with which they're moving away from us was directly proportional to the distance they were away. So, so the ones a long way away were moving very quickly? Indeed, that's right, and that is known as Hubble's law. What Hubble found was an expanding universe, one in which all the galaxies, these are meant to be galaxies, not stars, were moving apart from one another. And this idea of an expanding universe was something that most scientists found very hard to accept. Hubble's ideas were so revolutionary and shocking that many people began to maybe perhaps disbelieve that the universe could be expanding or have an origin. But then here comes Einstein, perhaps the greatest scientist of, of the age, who comes in and says, yes, this is what my equations actually say. Einstein had always been puzzled that his calculations seemed to show that the universe must be expanding or contracting. He thought he must have made a mistake. He was delighted when Hubble's observations showed he'd been right all along. Hubble gave us an entirely new picture of the universe, an expanding universe, a universe where stars and galaxies are moving away from us. But that begs the question, where did the universe come from? Think of a motion picture, a motion picture of an explosion with all the gases moving away. Now run that motion picture backwards. When you run it backwards, you can actually calculate the time at which all these gases came from a single point. And that's what Hubble was inevitably forced to conclude. The fact that there was an origin, a time at which the universe came into being. And with Hubble's calculation, he could even give us a number, the age of the universe itself. 